hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome so today i have a panna size 10 brush um i really love the panna brushes that's the first brush i ever started out with and i decided to use a different brand and um this is the old one that i had but now the bristles are like stuck together and all of that i'm pretty sure i can soak it in acetone and um, get the acrylic out and use it so yeah i'm gonna break this one in and use it for today's set the brush is actually smaller than i expected maybe i need to um crimp it like but in today's video i'm gonna be testing out mccart's acrylic to see if, how clear it is so that is it and let's jump right into the video so this is it i really love using this powder but i'm gonna try it on its own so i'm just starting off with um putting a bead on my natural nails just to bridge the gap between the, the natural nails and the nail tip and then i'm gonna be adding on some roses that i had that i cut into small pieces and some nail foil and stuff like that so we can see how um the clear operates so it's pretty repetitive so i'll only show you two fingers um just randomly placing the rose petals and the foils and then i'll encapsulate them with the clear acrylic i'll be doing this to my thumb the index finger and the pinky finger and then i'll do uh, my middle finger off camera and show you my no i'll do my my ring finger off camera and show you my middle finger so it's gonna be the same design as the ring finger so um i'll be making an acrylic rose on the nail to see um if i uh, i'll be able to see it underneath the nail when i encapsulate it so So when I use clear acrylic, I tend to work with a wetter bead, not so much of a drier bead because it will dry on you really quick where you can't move it. So working with a wetter bead gives you the opportunity to mold and shape the nail better, um, in my opinion. So that's what I do and i'll be right back
okay so i did the ring finger and look at that flowers so it's like a flowers dripping blood or just dripping something i don't know so i'll place the first bead and a second bead because this acrylic dries pretty slowly um i'll use the belly of this nail art brush and press into the bead of acrylic to create a petal i want it as flat as possible and i'll start working on the second one so these are going in towards the corner of this nail so i'll be placing uh some more beads on the inner part of um this flower So the, the ring finger, um, the flowers that I did on that finger came out pretty well, even better than this one. I'm not sure what happened um, as to why I couldn't recreate it, but this is as best that I, as I could have done. Um, I'll put another petal inside here and then uh, one more on the inner corner. Okay, so with the drip, I'm just going to place a bead of acrylic on the length of the nail and then pull it up and um, go from the flower pulling a bead of acrylic down to meet that one drop. So tuck in the sides to create that drop-like effect and try to keep these as flat as you possibly can because remember you're going to encapsulate them and you don't want them too bulky. Okay, so you see how it looks? This is how it looks, right? When I encapsulate it, you're gonna see how different it looks. Okay, so I'm gonna shape and file off camera, buff the nails, and um, I'm gonna put on top coat. Okay. I'm using the McCart top coat and as you can see instantly it's so beautiful look at how clear that is I'm sorry for the camera going in and out now for this you can hardly see anything Like, it looks like one big glob 
of acrylic and okay let's say this one wasn't that great but look at this one that was so amazing i'm gonna put a side by side photo of what it was before look at the ridges on the one on the um right you see all of that like where is it on the left what <sighs> so i guess this acrylic is not that clear um comparing comparing like this finger to the rose that i made i'm gonna give it a eight out of ten um because i should be able to see clearly the rose that i made but i'm not like everything looks as if it's one thing but let me show you some close-ups though this is the finished set i really love this finger look at that like you see you can't even tell that it's a rose dripping thing <sighs> yeah but i'll try to see if i can see some things through it like um what's that called my cuticle pusher i tried to see if i could see it through one of the nails <laughs> I could see it just a little bit, but I mean, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think based on this video. Um, how much would you rate it? And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.